Yes, we all need to breathe, but so does a house. Because if it doesn't breathe, then it can choke up with dirty, stale air. And if that happens, then the same thing might happen to you. But these days, self-builders have to stick to quite rigid standards. They have to ensure that little or no heat energy can escape from the house. So the old ways of letting a house breathe no longer work for us, because breathing means exhaling hot air. And in an energy-saving age, that won't do. Step forward, the mechanical ventilation system. This is the Lofsne from Mitsubishi. And it does the job that the old leaky house used to do, but probably a lot better. It takes air from outside, circulates it, and pushes it back out again. But at the same time, it retains most of the house's heat energy. Now that means lower energy bills, greater fuel efficiency, and it keeps the guardians of the planet happy. And that, of course, should be all of us. Now, it can only really work in a sealed house like those built, say, with sips or timber frames. Now, one man to tell us about this is Martin Fahey. Martin, it seems like a miracle. How does it work? Well, at the very heart of this system is a paper core, and it allows cold, fresh air from outside to be brought into the house, but at the same time recovers heat that you've already paid to heat up from the house rather than losing it wastefully. The best way to explain this is to just grab a piece of paper, ordinary A4 paper that you may have at home, roll it up as I have done here. If you then blow through it, you will feel instantly the heat from your own breath being passed to your hand. That concept is exactly how this core works. So, this system can trap up to 75% of your domestic heat and push it back into the house. For example, outside air at a winter temperature of 7 degrees is drawn into the unit and mixes with the outgoing air at a comfortable 20 degrees. The Losne won't make up the entire difference of 13 degrees, but it will take care of most of it. And when you look at the saving on your fuel bills from that alone, it'll give you a warm glow. Discrete ducts move the air through the whole house, and settings on the filter unit regulate how much comes in. Between 100 and 520 cubic meters of air depending upon the size of your building. Okay, this is what happens in winter, but what about the, those couple of hot weeks in July when the, we think we need air conditioning? Can it take its place? Indeed. So far we've talked about its ability to recover heat that you've paid to generate, but in those two weeks that you talk about where we're getting uncomfortable evenings, for example, the system can bypass and just use its ability to use the fresh air from outside and bring that in and keep you at a very comfortable temperature. We've looked at this and there's really no requirement in most situations for mechanical air conditioning domestically in the UK. Adequate veg ventilation through a system such as this will handle those peak loads and keep you comfortable. Anyone who remembers the days before widespread central heating will know that the only warmth in the house was to be got from the cooker or from open hearth fires like this. And even then, they only warmed a small part of the room. The rest of the heat, something like 85%, went up the chimney. And that's exactly what happens to the central heating. It goes up the chimney and is wasted. It was expected and even valued that a house would leak because that way it would breathe through things like wooden door frames and, of course, open hearth fires. That way there was a continuous air supply. But these days, they have to be exactly measured and a house should have a complete change of air every two hours. There are four recognised types of ventilation. There's forced or mechanical, such as the Lozne. There's natural, where the house is designed to breathe. Mixed mode or hybrid, which is a mixture of both of those. And infiltration, which is a leaky house. And if you combine this with an air or ground source heat pump, and top it off by powering it with a photovoltaic panel array, and you are quids in. So they all work in conjunction with each other. The PV can generate some energy that helps run your heat pump. The heat pump multiplies that energy into usable heat from available renewable ambient sources, maybe the air. And then the heat recovery system keeps hold of that heat while giving you the benefit of fresh air to your home. It's called a whole of house system. So, with temperatures rising or falling in your house, depending whichever way you want to go, your energy bills falling, you could say the modern ventilation system is a breath of fresh air.